Hey guys, all right, so I was asked uh, what are the five things you need to be a highly effective leader during turbulent times? And it was quite a fascinating question. So when I led a team on the super yachts, it was a lot more difficult than I thought. You know, you eventually work your way up the ranks and when you get there, nobody necessarily tells you how to do it. You just watch and learn, I suppose. But it took me a while to go through the paces, learn a few things and, um, so I'm now able to teach those to others, obviously now as a business and a personal development coach. But the, the few things um, I wrote down when asked this question was number one, communication. I think it's absolutely imperative that good communication um, is kept between not just you know members of the management department, but also throughout the whole team, I think everybody should be empowered to have their say and um, feel comfortable to share their opinion within a company, team, structure, whatever it may be. Number two is optimism. Optimism is, again, absolutely crucial. You know, nobody wants to follow a pessimist, but also you need to, I mean, Turbulent times are going to call for a, a lot of um, a lot of discipline and just staying optimistic through it all and having a good attitude is, is just going to get you that much further through it. Number three, affirmations. Now I'm one for positive affirmations. I love it. It drives me. It makes me feel better. But you know, it's incredible to um, or it's empowering to keep motivating your team through. You know giving credit where credit is due, letting people know that they're here, giving them, um, yeah, letting them feel encouraged so that they're doing a good job. It just empowers them to work better and um, yeah, just creates better congruency throughout the team. Number four, decisiveness. Decisiveness is, um, yeah, decisions should always be made in a timely manner, no matter what. And uh, me as, uh, I'm, I'm very indecisive at the best of times and I'm working on it, but it can be very difficult, you know, but making a wrong decision is better than making no decision at all and a lot of people like myself sometimes tend to just leave decisions till last minute and um you, you, it, it's not the way to go about things you know just making time timely decisions is absolutely crucial and it also gives your team um faith that you're able to actually you know do your job make a decision and um create better management and then number five, delegation. And again, this is huge, you know, especially again, when I was working on the yachts, for example, and I moved into a position where I was managing a team. Um, one thing I found very difficult was that I wanted everything done my way. So I would do it myself, you know, um, and nothing got done because I wasn't happy with the way other people were doing it. So I was trying to run around doing it all myself. And I really had to learn to be comfortable with, you know, delegating the job to somebody, you know, showing them how to do it, letting them do it their way, and also giving them the, the freedom to add their own creativity to this, to the job, whatever it may be. Um, everybody's different. Everybody does things their own way and that's okay. As long as the job gets done at the end of the day. But, if you don't delegate and you are running around like a headless chicken, like I did most days, um, in the beginning at least, um, nothing's going to get done. So, you know, by delegating and also making sure that you understand or help rather help the team members understand what are their strengths and what are their weaknesses. Let the other team members know what each of their strengths and weaknesses are so that, you know, everybody has a clear understanding of who should be doing what, who shouldn't be doing that. And, you know, it just helps everybody gel together. And if people know that strengths lie better in one person's hand or certain strengths, then they're more likely to rather just go to that person for that advice or whatever it may be. And um, it just creates a better structure where people are actually doing what they should be doing because it works on their strengths. And they, if something, if they're not good at something, leave it to somebody else. Um, so that's it guys, those are my five five things that I think you need to be a highly effective leader during turbulent times. Communication, optimism, affirmations, decisiveness and delegation. And yeah, we're all going through some turbulent times at the moment. I know a lot of businesses are struggling at the moment due to COVID, lockdown, all that kind of stuff. But hang in there guys. Um, if you'd like to speak to me, I'm available to like, um, not just necessarily in a coaching capacity full time, but I'm happy to help and offer my advice where I can. Um, obviously, I want to try to bring you more information as much as possible. So, yeah, let me know if you want to reach out, connect, and I'm happy to um, 
happy to give advice where I can, but otherwise, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.